Let's just roll by it real quick. Make sure I didn't screw up with my time. Sun estimate. If, you could, if, you could, if that doesn't work, we can probably come back around here. Like, that's fucking cool. Yeah. Hold on, pull over. Check that out real quick. When I first started shooting, my very first plate was a good plate. I got lucky, okay? And when I, I, when I developed it and when I saw it, I had this rush that I haven't had since the very first print I put in my high school darkroom tray when I was 14 years old. I was blown away, I was giddy, I was in love, and it was incredible. And then it all went downhill. You have to make a lot of mistakes to learn. And it took about six months before I was, I was really getting consistent results and, and, uh, and things were working out well for me. I've been shooting wet plate for just over a year and I've been sucking at it for the first six or so months and, and I feel like I hit a groove whereas I'm doing good work and, and I'm getting good plates and I'm getting a good response from it. I moved to South Jersey about five years ago and but really disconnected to my native New York. And shooting this project's really made me feel a little bit more at home around here. Uh, just spending more time walking around looking for shots and talking to people. I miss that. I miss just, just the hustle of just running around looking for, looking for photos to make. The process that I'm using, wet plate collodion, is a 150-year-old process. Before I leave the house, there's a lot of preparation to do for uh, a wet plate shoot. Plates need to be cut by hand and cleaned vigorously, otherwise the photos will slip right off of them. The silver nitrate, it's almost like a living animal. It always requires lots of maintenance. Usually I want to make sure I'm, before I even pull out the camera, I know that the shot's going to be a banging shot. Short pour, pour out enough. Coat the glass with collodion, and then I put it into a silver nitrate bath. That's what will sensitize plate. And then from there, I put the plate into a converted 8x10 film holder. And then it goes into the camera and you make an exposure. The exposures are tricky because the collodion is only UV sensitive. So there's no meter or anything that will tell you what the exposure is going to be. There's a lot of trial and error, and eventually you just get it. And then I take the, the film holder into the dark room, and pour developer over it. You don't do it in tray like a traditional dark room. You pour the developer over the plate and then you stop it with water. And it goes into a fix and then it comes out in the daylight and you can see it fix uh, in, the, in the daylight. And then, you know, Knock on wood, hope you have a good exposure, and then you usually gotta do two, a couple more plates before you really have it, have it down. I think I'm gonna call it done here. I'm trying to uh, capture the old New York, the New York that I remember as a child. So much of it is disappearing. I went to an old bodega that was in my old neighborhood in Brooklyn, and it was gone. I wanted to shoot it, but it was already closed down. So I feel a sense of urgency to try to shoot these places that have been around for so long that have a limited life because the building's gonna get knocked down and there's gonna be a luxury condo put up in its place. 